Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. And welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, whatever side of the diaspora that you own, I want to welcome you. And I keep saying this over and over again when people thought that I was so corny. And I will get the, the uh, comments on my page or the comment section or either email with people telling me how corny that I am when I say love is in need or when I say we're all connected. And if this coronavirus ain't taught you nothing else, it's taught you that. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to get raw and wicked up in here today. So let me put my raw hat on. And let's 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 talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um what I've noticed and what's really bothering me, bothering me beyond belief, is the fact that how do Kevin Durant, uh, what's the brother's name up there in Utah? Uh, Mitchell, I think that's his name, um, Donovan, or whoever else NBA pro player, Idris Elba, how are these people having the tests and poor people can't get the tests? But they just testing people at random, and it's a disease supposedly that you that can be asymptom. You know, it could be you could be asymptomatic, and run and then still have the damn disease. So I've done videos. If you go back and check my resume, um, since I've been doing these videos, talking about the day of reckoning for us as a society. And that if we could not learn to live together as brothers and sisters, that we were certainly going to perish as fools. And um, whether it's our responsibility, whether it's our fault, whether it's uh, a, a, a hand that we were dealt, it all depends on how we were going to play these cards. You know, you got to realize that America is a nation that was brought up in... in and it's what it ended up being the greatest nation in the world because of abuse and murder and mayhem and terror. And it became the richest nation in the world, in the free world, because of its oppression, its enslavement of my people, uh, Chinese people, um, anybody that was non white. And they based the world. On color. <laughs> and the worst part about it is. <coughs> it's so ingrained in the fabric. That it's like when you tell somebody. That they're addicted to drugs. And they're not really ready to quit. You know the kind of response you get. That's the kind of response. That you get from most Americans. When you tell them that they're racist. Or I mean that they, they've been brought up. In a racist system. And they can't help but be prejudiced. Racist. I should say. Uh, you know, they, they can't help but be severely messed up. It's because it works both sides. It w works both ways. Black people are messed up because of the terrorist, the, the terroristic type of tactics that were used on us. The abuse, the mayhem, the rape, the murder, the burning of bodies. All of that has a consequence. All of it has a consequence in the universe. So whether y'all want to agree with it or not, it don't really matter to me. I know it's I know it's the truth. I know for every action there's a reaction, and whatever energy I put out in the universe is going to come back to me. Okay, or my loved ones. And at this point, we created such um um a messed up world and it's a messed up society that a reaping day is here. It is here for us. And if people are dropping dead like this, I just heard that there was a mother somewhere, I think it was in uh, Houston somewhere, that tested positive and one of her and her kids, but they won't they can't get the test. 
the mother tested positive, and, and I guess, you know, and someone else, one of her um, older children or something, but they're, they're um, issuing out these tests like, hey, for rich people only, and then when Donald Trump, if y'all saw him, he goes, well, hey, you know, he don't give a damn about poor people. He didn't made it clear to you. And so for those of y'all who are so prejudiced and so hateful in your hearts, and your hearts are so gripped with racism and um, unforgiveness and uh, just some stuff that learned behavior that is not really based in nothing but no facts. Y'all going to help us perish as fools. And for those of y'all who think that um, we're not connected and it's still about black and white and it's still about, you know, this, that, and the other, everybody's getting this corona. And whatever you want to call it, the bona, the corona, the flu, whatever the hell you want to call it, is taking people out. Okay? And we knew this day was coming. When we watch movies like uh, the movie Dustin Hoffman played in, movies like Outbreak and shit like that, when we saw those movies, we knew this stuff was going to happen. We just kept talking about it. And now the day is here. It's here. They telling you to be, uh, keep a safe distance from your fellow American. A lot of people think it's got a lot to do with this 5G that they've unleashed into the atmosphere. Whatever it is. The human species is in trouble. All over the globe. Regardless of their color. Regardless of their religious beliefs. Regardless of their social economic status. God is watching us. From a distance. And God is not pleased with our behavior. And until we want to deal with that aspect of it. I don't know how many of us are going to survive this plague. But I vow to bring as much information every day. Um, maybe sometimes multiple times a day. About this coronavirus. Uh, and any information that I may hear. It's unfortunate that I can't go live right now. Because this is the time where I should be going live. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't know how many of y'all got straight talk. And, and I know I'm all over the place this morning. But I do. And now I got to send this brand new phone back. Um, You know, I had a Samsung. I think it was a 9. Uh, whatever Samsung I had. This is a Samsung. Uh, first they had sent me an Orbit. And then now they've sent me something called a J Chrome or some craziness. They won't send the phone back I sent to them that was defective. And so I've been waiting for a matter of two or three weeks, you guys, just to use the phone. And so because it's so disheartening, especially in this time where the coronavirus is running rampant, I had to buy an old trusty flip phone in order for me to even talk, right? So, uh, you know, I, I'm in a crisis in more ways than one. But what I do want to tell the people is, no, don't panic. Don't be in the aisles fighting over tissue paper. Because like my daughter said, if you get the Rona, tissue paper ain't going to help your ass. Some soap and water will uh, help you, period. But tissue paper ain't going to help you if you get this mess. And now that we can be... Uh, show no symptoms and still be afflicted with it. I know something going on, and I don't, and I know that poor people, y'all got we got to wake up. We have to wake up, and at some point, the first preservation, self preservation, should be the first law of nature. And when you realize that something is gunning for you, they come looking for you to wipe you out. You have to get proactive about trying to stay alive. So if you've never done it before, and for those of y'all who think it's a joke down there at Miami Beach uh, during spring break, 
crazy. But I don't think this is going to go away anytime soon. And I want my family to stay safe. Um, and my prayers are with you and your family. And I will see you I'm on, in the next video. But in the meantime, I want you to be blessed and stay safe. With that being said, talk to you later.